In this video, we're going to look at a supplement that has been gaining a lot of popularity recently, essential amino acids, or as they're known, EAAs. We will answer exactly what are essential amino acids and are they worth your hard earned money. In recent months, branched chain amino acids or BCAAs have been knocked off their pedestal as a supplement of choice to be sold to the masses. This is largely due to the vast majority of research surrounding them becoming more widely known to the general public. The evidence is mounting. If you haven't already, check out our previous video on branched chain amino acids where we look in depth at the pros and cons of taking this supplement. However, for the supplement companies, something must fill this void. 2020 has been the year of shilling essential amino acid supplements, but what is the difference between an essential amino acid supplement and a branched chain amino acid supplement? Judean people's front. For the people's front of Judea. So what exactly are EAAs? Well, proteins are composed of amino acids, some of which your body can synthesize and others it cannot. The nine that you need but cannot synthesize are called essential amino acids or EAAs, Therefore, you must consume these through your diet. The nine essential amino acids are histonine, phenylalanine, isoleucine, leucine, lysine, methionine, threonine, tryptophan, and valine. These nine essential amino acids are marketed as a pre-workout, an inter-workout, and a post-workout supplement, meaning that supplement companies, depending upon the company, will recommend taking them either before, during, after your workout, or all three. Unfortunately, there is a serious lack of scientific evidence supporting any of these recommendations, meaning that the only people benefiting will likely be the people selling the supplements. So the more you take, the more they make. I've taken the liberty of mocking up some sales projections. Wow, that's pretty good. Currently, scientific research suggests that if you're getting enough protein in your diet from complete protein sources, there is no need for amino acid supplementation. A protein is called complete when proportionally to its overall amino acid content, it has enough of each essential amino acids. The main advantage of animal proteins are that they are mostly complete. But are there any situations where essential amino acid supplementation could be useful? Well, one situation that could justify the supplementation of essential amino acids would be if an athlete is on a very restrictive diet. However, overly restrictive diets are not something that I would ever recommend to any competitive athlete. Vegan athletes are another group that may benefit from essential amino acid supplementation, especially if calories are restricted, as it may be hard for them to obtain sufficient protein and amino acids through their diet alone. A challenge that many vegans face is that many vegan sources of protein may not contain diverse amino acid profiles. The patty made from plants, no beef. Get it while it lasts. So to conclude, like branched chain amino acids, for most people out there, i.e. the recreational gym user, essential amino acids may not be worth their money as the cost seems to outweigh the benefit. Essential amino acids don't seem to have a systematic benefit if your protein intake is high enough and your diet contains sufficient amounts of complete proteins. As a sports nutritionist, I take a food first approach, meaning that I don't like to recommend supplements if there's not enough scientific evidence to support them. At that, insufficient and complete proteins will never be the optimal choice for any athlete. The supplement industry profits off selling bullshit and trying to keep people ignorant to the reality that making small changes in their diet is usually the answer before opening up their wallet to buy any supplement. So don't believe the hype, do your own research and stop taking nutritional advice from people who are not qualified. You wouldn't ask your dentist to try and fix your car, so you shouldn't take nutritional advice from someone who's not a registered nutritionist or dietitian. Thank you for watching guys, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content.